Next week, President Jacob Zuma will deliver his State of the Nation address in the National Assembly. Thursday the 11th of February marks the beginning of 2016's parliamentary calendar. The Secretary of Parliament has given his assurances that the prestigious event will be an orderly, secure affair. Mgenzani Mgitlana says Parliament is ready for SONA 2016 and believes MPs will abide by the rules. Here are a few takeaways from Monday's briefing. On the question of uh, whether we have done any specific or special recruitment for SONA, uh, the simple answer is no. We still have the same complement uh, of staff that, that we had. Uh, and of course, we continuously train our staff like uh, any other institution uh, in this regard. Uh, so there is no uh, recruitment that uh, we have done specifically for SONA. I think assurances were given, if you would recall, <coughs> by uh, the appropriate uh, ministry on uh, what occurred uh, at that time. They gave uh, a clear explanation from their side on what happened uh, and gave an assurance that such an activity, uh, such uh, a particular uh, instance uh, will not occur uh, again. I think the question that was asked on uh, the devices and so forth, uh, we had indicated from our side that first and foremost, that there were statements issued, if you recall, uh, last year uh, by ourselves, uh, indicating that we had not requested for uh, use of such uh, devices. Secondly, there were subsequent statements that were made by the ministry itself explaining uh, what happened and indicating and giving an assurance that uh, such particular uh, activities would not occur we have to do things within the law, right? Uh, um, and uh, in this instance, what we're expecting from all uh, agencies is to act and uh, within the, the ambit of the law, uh, as it were. Now, in terms of issues of points of order, uh, points of order should relate to points of procedure. And that is the only um, point of order that is uh, uh, sanctioned by the rules, but it relates to points of procedure. Uh, anything outside of this would not constitute either a point of privilege or a point of order. The joint rules also, uh, joint rule 13, deal with how members could speak in a meeting of this nature in a joint sitting, that they may only speak when invited to do so by a presiding officer, or with a prior permission of the speaker and the chairperson of the NCOP. Point of contention uh, in the previous State of the Nation address was where the point of order would be, would be allowed uh, during the State of the Nation address. And we consistently stated that a point of order relates to a point of procedure, as my colleague has indicated, and that the State of the Nation address is called particularly for the President to address the House, and that points of order and uh, points of privilege may be raised during the debate on the State of the Nation address if parties do have any points of order to raise or any points of privilege to raise.